Salutations citizens of Galnor and welcome to my guide on the basics of smithing. Smithing is a production skill through which players create a wide variety of metal items from ore and metal bars. It's technically broken down into two subclasses, smelting and smithing, both of which will give you your smithing experience. Um, smelting is the process of extracting a metal bar from metal ore. Um, some require coal to be added to the furnace to raise the furnace's temperature. Most of them are going to require more than one metal to make a single bar. Uh, for bronze, we're going to need our tin and copper. Uh, blue right, which is a members only item, only requires the blue right. Iron only requires iron, same with silver and gold. However, steel, mithril, adamant, and runite are all going to require coal as well as Love a Kite, which is only used for gaining favor and Love a Quick. That is another video. Actually doing smithing will make you various items. As for our furnace locations, the best ones that are, you're going to have are going to be over here in Al Karid. When you're leaving the mine, there is a furnace on the way to the bank. You do have one here in Lumbridge, however, it is a bit far away from the bank. The closest one to a bank is going to be, not Brock, Edgeville, right here to here. However, there are going to be a lot of bots there, especially in non-members world, so keep an eye out for that. Um, there are a few other ones, but this one's actually going to be your best bet for closest to the bank, um, unless you're going for the Blast Furnace. The Blast Furnace is a members-only item. It is locked behind the giant dwarf quest. It needs level 60 mining or a fee of 2,500 per 10 minutes of use. You do also need ice gloves or a bucket of water. I highly advise the ice gloves. They're very quick and easy to get. Um, you do also have to pay maintenance or maintain it yourself. Um, this will decrease your proficiency, but it will not cost you additional money. Um, with level 43 magic, you can also smelt using the Super Heat Item spell, which is in the Lunar Spellbook. Doing so will grant the same amount of smithing as using the Blast Furnace. Uh, as for Iron Ore, uh, when you're doing it, there's a couple ways you can actually get a 100% rate other than the 50% that you would be getting currently. You can use a Ring of Forging, which you can get uh, off the GE. You can make it yourself by enchanting a Ruby Ring or paying 250 GP to Murky Mat in the GE. Um, and it will hold 140 charges. Murky is going to be in this area right over here. When you're smelting in Edgeville wearing the Varrock armor, which is acquired through the diaries, you have a chance of smelting two bars at once. If this is done when you're doing iron ore, it will activate your ring and it will use two charges. Uh, one of the fastest methods that most people do is going to be the blast furnace with gold ore as it only requires one item instead of the additional coal. Um, you can also do it with the coal bag that is acquired through the Motherlode mine uh, with Prospector Percy. Uh, that will hold an additional 27 coal, which means you can do more items at once. Uh, you can also do a very fast money maker, which is fairly AFK, if you do it in the Brock Anvil. Right here, which is the closest one you're going to get to a bank. Um, you can actually do Mithril Dart Tips. That will give you some of your best money. However, the best way to check your profit loss is going to be looking up the Wiki Calculator. This is actually going to show your profit loss margin. I'll show an image on the screen for you. Anyway, happy grinds!